You're watching, old mates. Backyard Tech. All right. I think you'll agree with this, and if you don't, I don't really care. But what I scored last Sunday, Arvo, is one of the best free pickup scores I've had in a long time. Not to mention about the fact that I managed to get my hands on a piece of AV equipment I have dreamed of having. My Pioneer LaserDisc player. And what made it even better was it was free. But in amongst all that AV stuff, we managed to get a piece of IT equipment for the other half. A little brother HL1210W laser printer. Well, for this video, let's see if it works. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Well, as I said at the top of the video, last Sunday's free pickup score was massive. And uh, to have one of my pieces, one, a piece of one of my dream pieces of AV equipment, for want of a better term, my Pioneer LaserDisc player, was phenomenal. And it's free. Having said that, though, we also scored that little brother HL1210W laser printer for the other half, which she needs. And uh, for this video, I want to power it up and find out if we have any funky smells or magic blue smoke before I even think about connecting it either to the network here, so my internal private network, or directly connecting it to the other half's laptop, which is what it's primarily going to be used on anyway, because the other half has more stuff to print off than old mate, especially when it comes to all the stuff she has to do for work and paperwork and everything like that. So let me grab the video camera again. Let me grab the tripod. Let me try and talk. We'll go out and see if this little brother printer works. Now it is a laser printer. Now, admittedly, I made a mistake, as you saw in that video last, last Sunday, where I said it needed new ink. That was a stupid comment, and that's why I put the lower third in it. It's, it's a laser printer that uses both a toner and a separate drum rather than a two-in-one job. Hello, Fuji, Fuji Xerox DCP700 all over again, basically. And if you're familiar with what I'm talking about, you'll understand what I mean by a DCP700. Full length. So... Let me grab the video camera, as I said, grab the tripod, we'll get out and see if this printer fires up. All right, so because I've got light issues in here, I'm off to one side a little bit. So, paper goes in the bottom, comes out the top. Let's see what happens. No funky smells. Let's open it up first. See what happens. We'll hit the power button. No funky smells, so that's a good thing. Having a little bit of a tiz fit at the moment, so I've got some paper here. And put that in. Not too far in. Okay. I've got an error light here, but I don't know what it's for. All right, uh, I suppose the one thing to do now would be to get the other half's laptop. Actually, no. Let me see if it'll actually connect to my laptop. Let me get my laptop out, hang on. All right, I've got my Zeus here. So I'll boot into Open Man Driver and we'll see if this printer can be seen. It's apparently wireless printing, so it should just connect straight to the, to the printer. So let me boot up. LX 4.2 and we'll be back. Alright, the Wi-Fi's on. I'm just waiting for LX 4.2 to start up. 
and uh, we'll see if the laptop can see it and print to it. Hang on guys, the Asus battery is going flat, so let me grab the other half's laptop and we'll see what happens. Alright, well while I was waiting for the other half, this thing spat out a, a failed connection, so I'm going to go and grab a USB lead, and uh, I know what network it is, it's been called something really strange, this printer. Uh, I'm going to go and grab a network lead, uh, USB lead, plug it in via USB and then grab the drivers. So I'll be back in a tick. Alright, well there's the other half's laptop. And uh, it wants the brother driver which is available. So I'm going to get this sorted out and then we'll do a proper test print. Alright, so the drivers are now all installed and configured. We'll open up this little uh, photo there. We'll see if it'll print. That's not what I wanted to print. <laughs> I actually want to print that. And print. Now we wait. Hmm. Oh, there we go. It's not bad. It'll do for now, but it's only for it to be able to print print stuff off, but it works. So there we go. A little H uh, Brother 1210W took the 1230 driver from Debian, um, but that's, look, I'm not worried about it taking a 1230 to run a 1210. Um, I've noticed with Brother a few times under Linux that it'll pick a driver and then just you know it might say pick up a brother driver for a J6550 but a J6520 will run on it so I'm not overly worried about the fact that it's uh, it's not um, you know it's not using the exact driver that it needs but it does work so That'll make the other half very happy. There we go. The other half has a nice new little laser printer for itself. And it is little. I mean, look at the size of it, guys. It's not like a full-size MFW, uh, MFC or DCP or that whopping great... What's that new um, trade printer from HP? It's like uh, CMYK times 2. And it's, I think... 14 or 15 metres long, I can't remember the model number. No, it all experts, you will. You always do. They'll even be able to tell you the serial number. Um, so that'll do it. There we are. That's come up good. So Sunday score, last Sunday scores have been good so far. There we go. Anyway, that's it for Thursday. We'll catch you for AV Fridays tomorrow. Have a good one.